Hello, this is a uh, trick on how to get a faster hit rate for continuous autofocus for uh, action, sporting, wildlife. Right now I'm in AFC. I don't know if you know this or not, but you should have this set up already. It would take you a little while to get used to it if you're not using it. Be using the back button autofocus for autofocus rather than half press your shutter release button. Your shutter release button is set to obviously release the shutter, but Everybody straight out of box is using their shutter release button, half press to autofocus, and then fully depressed to take the uh, shot. You should try, at least try, and you'll notice the reason, the difference, and the reason why most professionals are using back button autofocus for professional photography, especially those that are involved in photojournalism, sports, action, um, event photography, it is much better, but there's also a trick, and there's two things that you need to do. First, to set your back button autofocus, you'd have to go to custom settings, then A, and now down to AF, uh, excuse me, A8, and uh, what we're going to do is a uh, default is set to a uh, shutter release button, um, default straight out of uh, box where uh, half press of your shutter release button is autofocus and fully depress is uh, for release. But we don't want that, so right now I'm going to go to A8 and we're going to turn that to off. And off, now you have back button autofocus for autofocus and then fully release of uh, your shutter, uh, full depress uh, for taking the shot. This is how I've I had all my Nikon set up now for. A long time and after we do that we're gonna have to go down to controls and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the parameters of uh, the joystick or as Nikon calls it the uh, sub selector now the joystick operates in two modes you actually change the joystick position for changing your autofocus point but a fully depressed is another function that you can actually set so in control we uh, go to uh, F1 and then we go down here this is a sub selector focus point selection, which is where it should be. This is for letting you move your joystick or your sub selector, as Nikon calls it, for autofocus point selection. But if we go down one further, we can enter this, and what I have here set is 25 point. Okay, you actually have other options. Now you'll notice this says autofocus area mode. As I changed it since I actually touched it. Autofocus area mode plus autofocus on. Now I could actually choose 72 point or 153 or 9. We certainly don't want single because in continuous autofocus, which is where you would have to have this set using back button autofocus and uh, continuous autofocus mode, what we're going to do is I'm going to set this exactly where I had it. You could choose 72 is an option. Nine's a bit too small. This gives me a wider dynamic area of 25 points. Okay, where I had it. So now, I'm in continuous autofocus. You need to actually set that via your button on the front. Autofocus on to autofocus, and of course, fully depress the shutter release button to take the shot. But I can switch between this to pressing in to uh, switch to uh, continuous autofocus 25 point. Single point, 25 points. Single, 25. This actually helps you uh, capture a lot of shots that you would have missed otherwise because if you're in single and you actually have to capture some action and you want to switch to a wider uh, zone to capture the moving action, since the single is insufficient, you're actually going to have to change it by pressing in your front button and actually uh, rotating your command dial to choose to a different continuous autofocus area. But with this, you do not. You don't have to uh, do anything other than move your thumb from here to here on autofocus on. Take the shot as you will on a single point and over here press in the sub selector choose to choose a 25 point for uh, your autofocus area for continuous autofocus. Um, this is a lot faster. If you don't believe me you should uh, try it and uh, this will uh, help you uh, have a higher hit ratio on uh, sports, action, photojournalism, event, wildlife photography. So you can choose between a single point for accuracy, but for moving action, you can choose your sub selector. You can actually set that for 72, like I showed you before, whatever you want. I chose 25 since that what that is what I prefer to use. Perfectly large enough to track a, a moving object. And uh, this will improve your hit ratio for uh, action photography of any type.
without actually having to change via your command dial and pressing the front button. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.